So at one point I was going through my life, exactly the same thing, uh, where I didn't know what was happening with me. Like, I didn't deserve for sure that people dropped me and, and that I was like stuck in this small room and didn't have, I literally didn't have anything. And everything that kind of popped up was just like, it's better, so I'll just jump on it. So the one thing that saved me in that moment was to have a vision. I had a clear vision that no matter what happened, I needed to have a law degree, which means that every decision that I took was shaped around getting that law degree. Even the businesses that I have today are just the complete like uh, explanation of that. They're as much automated as I can automate them right now. Because when I started them, like when I started my main business, I needed to automate them. So when you're going through, especially when you're going through something like you guys are going right now, you need to have some kind of vision. It can be practical as getting a law degree, or it can be as practical as I want to earn this much money, uh, live in this environment with these kind of people, um, and we call it crafting the perfect day. So when this is part of what my mentor told me, which is you go, you take on the silent day, you take like a piece of paper, actually you take an entire notebook, and you, you write down as many pages as you can of your perfect day. You wake up, what do you do? What do you see? What do you feel? What do you hear? Um, and you just craft this perfect day. And I, I would craft this perfect day every six months. And so as you're going through your perfect day exercise, you will gain a clarity of what it is that you actually want. And so throughout your six months or one year or whatever, decisions will pop up and it'll be like, get a job there, but then you'll know that it won't bring you closer to your perfect day or get a job there and you, you know it'll get you closer. So an example would be for instance, for instance my girlfriend, right? So she knows that she wants to have like a little bit more freedom. So even though she gets job requests for really cool stuff, she knows it'll take too much time. And she doesn't want that. She wants, and she, she has it really clearly, she wants 30 hours in a job and then her side hustle next to it. So it doesn't matter how big the job is, the moment it's like 40, 50 hours, like she starts thinking, oh, this is really cool, but, and so suddenly she's not stuck in the flow of life. She's kind of like sucked out of it. She looks at it really objectively and is like, this is a really painful job. It's not aligned to my goals that I want. So I guess I can't take it. And what happens now? She doesn't have, like she does have something, but she also has in her mind, okay, I can't get this, which means that now I have to go do lead generation, if you call it that way, which is I have to go call other people in this industry because that's the industry where I want to be and get a job there. And she's postponing it right now because she's still working, but the moment like her job is about to finish up, she'll do that. And so, and she's getting all these job offers now to work in the parliament and everything. And so that's kind of how she gains perspective. Uh, so that's from the job perspective. From the business perspective, same kind of thing. You need to have a kind of mission and goal. And we call it a why not three, you need to have your why, like your code and your why. Uh, Simon Sinek talks about it in Start With Why, a really good book. Uh, we've crafted like the exercise, which I share in the 30 day challenge as well, which is an exercise that you can really just put your why in a sentence. And my why, which I said and shared in the beginning, was to inspire freedom in others so they can follow their passions and become the best they can be. Which means any and every decision that will pop up uh, that is aligned to my why, I will take. Restart Network, it was like, it was like a test for me. Is Restart Network a thing where I would talk at? And I just look at my why, I'm like, yeah, I will, so I'll make time for it. Um, and then if some other big company pops up, but there are people that totally don't trust, then I probably won't do it. Um, and what happens is over the short term, you grow slower, but over the long term, you skyrocket. Uh, and that's how you start gaining control over your life. So having 
my vision in the beginning gave me the stability to take the right decisions uh, instead of ending up working in a factory somewhere where I can assume most of the people in my situation would have ended up. Um, and also to believe in yourself. And this is the second thing why people don't follow that uh, thing that I told you, the why, the, the vision, everything, which is you might know that it's bad for you, but you still do it because you don't trust yourself too much. And that's kind of where it's a hit or, hit or like, lose scenario. You have to blindfully trust yourself that you can do it with the risk of, and that's what, what kept me going is, I have gone through really bad shit, so even if I end up under a bridge, this is gonna work for me. And having that blind faith in you and your skills um, will help. And how can you actually gain that confidence, which I shared also in my story, you go into specific jobs that validate your skills so that at that point you're like, wait a second, I actually can do it. And now this blind faith that you have is not so blind anymore. So there are like two parts. So you really need to trust yourself and you need to follow your advice. So does that answer it? Kind of? Yeah, somehow, yeah. I remember things where you were talking, I remember things about myself, what I really want to do. It's and very vague, but... No, somehow, yeah, I, I knew it, but somehow I keep forgetting it. Your gut over feeling, over like your gut feeling over the long term will play out well. The only thing is that you need to trust and validate that it will. If you're, if you're constantly saying, I'm going to be an entrepreneur, and you're really shit at it, like, don't do it. Yeah. But if you truly believe that this is what you are made of, because you've tried everything else and it just doesn't feel right, and this feels right, and you can actually sustain yourself, over the long term, it will pay off. So, the, to the people that have experienced what you guys have experienced, it will probably sound logical. To the people that haven't experienced what you have, have experienced, it'll sound vague. So, I don't know, maybe I should explain it more, or no, is it clear? Know, or? Like you said, if you, wanna have, if you have an idea about what you really want to do, you yeah. have to really go in that direction. Because sometimes we get lost. OK, I got this opportunity. OK, I need to find a job. I will go for it. No, I should wait and the, see. The only if difference, really the only difference is it needs to be written down. Yeah. I think it was Jim Rohn um, that said, a goal not written down is not a goal at all. So every silent day, like everything is mapped out, everything is written down. Like I have my wallet, right? So this is like the best example. In my wallet, I have like this thing that I crafted on Photoshop, and it says on my checking account it'll have one hundred and four thousand euros. And then my say, and like I watch this every day. And and at one point, you know, when I first started out, it was like I'll have a Visa card. <laughs> So, you know, it, like, it starts from nothing. Uh, so you can really do, it, you can craft it, but it needs to be written down. So, yeah, that's, so that's how you take control of your life. Um, and you make the decisions. And the beauty of that is once you start making your own decisions, you accept the, the hardships that come along. While if you don't take your decisions and you just go with, with the flow of life, you get really frustrated. And that, that's when you end up screaming at your boss like, oh, screw you, man. I didn't choose for that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, does that answer? Does yes. that answer? Yes. Yes. Good.